My name is Connor Gordon. I'm from originally from Boston, Massachusetts, but moved to Nova when I was younger. Lived there my whole life. Uh, I'm a junior and I play safety. What is your favorite part about playing football at Bridgewater? Uh, for for probably just the community, like the brotherhood that football gives you. Why Why did you decide to play football at Bridgewater? Uh, I decided to play football at Bridgewater just. Um, because it was really between two choices, football and basketball, and then I realized, well, in high school, I was like, you could always take a basketball and go shoot on a hoop. You can't always strap up the shoulder pads, just put knee pads and thigh pads on, and go kill somebody else on the other team. So, I decided to do that for four more years. Describe your high school experience. I went to a small high school, around like 200 kids. And it was like real small class sizes, so it was like you get a lot more one-on-one -on -one action with teachers. Um, and that sense of community that I was talking about of, of why I play football, especially at Bridgewater, I found that at Christchurch also. Just being there, and also I lived there too, so it was kind of like college before college. Um, but I loved it, and it prepared me a lot for college. So. How did your, how's your high school experience prepare you for college? Uh, so basically my high school is a college prep school. And everything uh, we do at that high school prepares you for college from living with a roommate, um, set it, setting a schedule for yourself, like even though they set one for us because we're still kids in a sense at that school. But that um, extracurricular activities, meeting people from new places, all that prepared me for college. And I think I did a pretty good job. Tell me about your home life. My home life. Um, so I grew up, when I was in Boston, uh, I grew up just with my mom only and my dad was in Northern Virginia. And I moved to Northern Virginia when I was about six. And from there I lived with both of my parents. But I also lived a lot with my grandma, just from the fact that my parents were fighting a lot. So I would be over at my grandma's house a lot and live over there. Um, but I have a brother also, and me and my brother are really close. Like, he he's, uh, in my sense, he's kind of like, like another father figure in my life. Like, he's somebody I could go to for advice. Um, any questions I have about life, about manhood, anything, I, I really just ask him. So. Who has been your biggest influence motivator throughout your football career? My football career is actually really short. Um, well, I'm saying like that it's over, but it's not over. I started playing football my junior year of high school, and that first year I won a state championship and I ended up loving the sport, and it was pretty good. The next year, uh, we ended up going like one in 10, but I, I would say my biggest motivator was probably just my coach. Um, he's the one that really, that really trusted me first to be a football player, because um, I never played football before, never really did that contact, and I was a basketball player. But he encouraged me, he pushed me, and at that school, Christchurch, he was kind of like a father figure to me. And he was the head football coach, so I'd probably say he's my biggest motivator and biggest inspiration for football. And for life, it'd probably just be my brother. Everything he does, I look up to him from school aspect to life to anything I have questions about. So, How important would you say your education is to you? Education. How important my education is to me? Um... To be honest, I feel like for what I need to do, I feel like I really don't need an education in a sense. Well, I need uh, education, but like the type of education that the world kind of enforces on people, like like you have to go to college, you have to get a degree to succeed in this world. I feel like for what I want to do in life, uh, I don't need that, but. I feel like it's good to have. So while I'm here, I want to learn, but I also don't want to like stress myself out. Like, you know what I'm saying? Where mm -hmm. I'm in like a mental warfare in my head because I didn't get the grade I wanted or I didn't get an assignment done. Like, it's not going to be the end of the world. Mm -hmm. What have you learned from your time as a student that has helped you on the football field? And then vice versa, what has football helped you? How has football helped you to be a better student? So I'll answer the second question first, how has football helped me be a better student? 
Uh, it's just discipline. Like I think you know as a football player um, what it takes to be a football player and what it takes to be a college football player, especially like early morning meetings, like lifts, and then uh, practice, and then more meetings, and then study film outside of that. Like it's just it's really discipline that football is and which it teaches you. Um, and so that's how it helped me in the classroom and how the classroom has helped me on the football field. Um, so I'm a perfectionist, just with everything I do, like, like even in the class, even though I hate school, like, I hate to, like, get bad grades and stuff like that, like, I always want my stuff to be perfect, and I feel like that translates on the football field, too, like, any little mistake I make, like, my coach might not critique me on it, but I'm like, yo, like, I gotta, I gotta fix this, or, like, if I had an okay practice, like, my coach isn't gonna say nothing to me, but I'm gonna be the hardest critic. Cause I'm a perfectionist and I know I could do better, so that's probably how I me. What are what are your goals and aspirations for after college? What do you want to do in the future? For after college, so my main thing is I want to retire my parents. Uh, that's my main goal in life is to retire my parents and give them everything that they gave me because they gave me a great life. So it's I feel like it's my job, mine and my brother's job to do the same for them, and then. Just really just be there for my family and if that's with money, if that's with support, if that's with anything, I just want to be there for my family. And my biggest aspiration for me in a sense is to become a millionaire. Okay. Um, just make a lot of money and make a very, very big difference in this world, whether it's through education, whether it's through sports. But just make a very big difference. Or someone could look at him in 20, 30 years and be like, he changed this. I want to be that guy. Mm. How much would you say uh, football has played into your, your goals? Like your goals? A lot, a lot. Because just from the fact, I'll say it's sports in a sense. Like, yeah, football, because I'm here in college playing college football. But sports, like, like I mean, you know, there's sports. Sports is something beautiful in this world, like with all the hate going on in the world, with all like racism, like and, like uh, hate on the LGBT community, like all that goes out the window when you strap on some shoulder pads or put on a jersey. Like it's it's us against y'all, like, and no matter if black, white, Mexican, like you're gonna be my brother, and, and, and I'm gonna ride for you just like you're gonna ride for me. So I feel like. That that aspect of sports has helped me out a lot in life. Where I don't, I don't judge. I don't look at people uh, in a certain manner. Like I look at people for what's inside, not like on the outside. My biggest accomplishment in life is making people smile. Just seeing, putting a smile on people's faces, like bringing joy to people's hearts. That's my biggest aspiration as far as just putting a smile on people's faces because life is hard, bro. So you know what I'm saying. If, if, if you could make it better for somebody else, that's going to make it better for yourself, too.